Breaking news, long last, all revealed. The campaign posters of Yahaya Bello and Femi Fani Kayode emerge. Remember that these two are buddies and they've considered themselves young men ready for leadership and uh, ready to do everything, anything, you know, to ensure, according to them, that Nigeria gets right on track. Uh, we've seen Yahaya Bello call on Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu to forget about presidency and allow young boys like them take over. <laughs> this is just me making it fun. Well, I mean, that was what he said. And then we saw how that turned out. Both of them are in the same party. And we saw Femi Fani Kayode on Thursday announce to the world that uh, he was blind. Now he can see. And uh, he has joined APC, and uh, we all know, know what is going on. Not knowing that the whole green plan was for him and Yahaya Bello to come out as Yahaya Bello is from the north, uh, he's from the south, so that uh, they can bring out the formidable team, yeah, that will take over uh, uh, Nigeria by storm. So, this is what is happening. And the matter is now unfolding. No more hiding place. No more business as usual. And this is what is going on. Uh, Yahaya Bello, ready to become president. Femi Fani Kayode, ready to become vice president. How do we solve this issue? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Thank you. 2023 campaign posters of Yahaya Bello, Femi Fani Kayode emerges. Photos of the 2023 presidential campaign posters have already flooded Kogi State. As Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello and Air Salvation Minister Femefani Kayode has emerged online on their intention to run for presidency. The image, the image are coming a day after Femefani Kayode deflected from the from the People Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress APC. Although it's currently under the source of image, they have since gone viral and many criticizing the pair. Political politicians in Nigeria have earlier said what is happening is really very, rather really unfortunate. The deflection has generated so many controversies because he was one of the major opposition figures in the People Democratic Party against this current administration. Femi Fani Kayode, who gained a lot of popularity for his opposition work, faced serious backlash over his deflection. Popular Islamic clergy, even Gumi, described him as a Judas <laughs> of Ududua, while his former friend and political foe, Deji Adeyonju, described him as unstable and unprincipled. Support. However, Bello has since indicated interest in the contesting of the nation number one seat come 2023 and has already been bargaining consultation and speaking to those he can on becoming nigerians number one president apparently Femi Fani Kayode seems to be the favored uh, runner mate and choice friend so these are some of the things happening my wonderful people uh this two the pair are coming together and uh, this has since gone viral okay it has since gone viral uh, so this was Femi uh, Fani Kayode's intention all along to i mean have the icing on the cake become the vice president a position that a few have occupied the likes of uh, uh atiko uh good luck jonathan uh and we've had a what's the name of good luck jonathan vice president that guy was so irrelevant we don't even know him you know and we've also had osibanjo so my people now that very position this guy the eye and the truth of the matter is can you trust somebody like that can you really like trust somebody like that somebody who is on stable is unprincipled neither here nor there so i mean when you look at the whole thing you begin to wonder truly really if for instance say okay well, they come to 2023 election a pdp can't come on board now so the guy will still take chair again and say go move oh. because as unstable as water that is who he is he moves from pillar to post he's unsteady okay he has unsteady gates he does not even know what he wants so he's everywhere he's here he's there he's there he's here so these are some of the things happening 
happening and Nigerians are just watching and wondering what next, what is the next line of action, what is the next position to go in all in terms of all this going on. How can we really sort out this problem? How can we ensure that we have good leaders who are honest, truthful, and sincerely want to effect change rather than a set of people who are coming for their own political class, affluence, and influence? Many of those people really, truly just want to get to the next cadre. Oh, I have been a governor. The next thing now is to be a senator. Oh, I have been a senator. Maybe I should become the vice president. Who knows? I could possibly get the presidential ticket. These are some of the aspirations. And so the very cry of the people is not the reason why they pick on the ticket. Because if it is, they would do more. If it is, we will see it in the stem of leadership and all that we have. Smaller countries that are not as big as Nigeria, yeah, in Europe and all over the country, you, you, all over the world, you see them doing much more and very well with all, the, with all that we have at our disposal. Nothing is still being done. You know, education is poor. Infrastructure, mm, security, we don't even go there. So what are we really fighting for? And where are we really going? The truth of the matter is, if we must get the, if we must get difference with what is currently on ground, then all hands has to be on deck. You know, it starts from us, you know, the, the, the citizens, the common man and woman on the streets, being intentional, putting pressure on the government. And one of the ways you can do that speaking out aha uh -huh, i understand you just have to keep speaking out because the truth of it is well, how did how does the nations of the world know that what is currently going on got known about what is going on in nigeria it is because we continue to speak out on social media in every way possible we continue to say things are not well things are not going well because when we keep quiet and we pretend that uh, nothing is happening before you could say jack robinson a lot of water has gone under the bridge so the truth of it is we must continue to speak out we must not be weary we must continue to you know fight for the real truth you know and ensure that we get the the get the real deal from what has currently been proposed you know some people want to put in us their own kind of mindset and agenda in the sense that they don't even want nigeria to move forward they are there and they are just there they don't care they travel abroad and they see how things are the system work what what is wrong in coming back and even trying to reciprocate it you know to reproduce it what is wrong in coming back and trying to implement this and see how it can work Look at the new raid they said they did. They, they, they brought in refurbished uh, trains that are stopping people left, right and centre in the middle of bushes. This is unfair. When we have capacity to buy brand new ones. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.